In this video, we will show you four different types of kites to build and how to fly a kite. The first type of kite is called a Malachi Special. It was designed by a school teacher because it uses the minimal amount of materials and is easy for young children to fly. Even my kindergartner child was able to build it and fly it by herself. A Malachi Special is a Hawaiian kite that requires very simple supplies. It's just made of copier paper, tape, and straws. It flies easily in all weather conditions, including low wind. The next type of kite is called a sled kite and designed by Mr. Bingaman himself. It is the easiest kite to fly in low wind conditions and it can be rolled up and easy to travel with. One disadvantage is this particular kite will collapse in on itself in high winds. Its body is made from tissue paper and bamboo skewers, while the tail is crepe paper streamer. When you picture a kite in your mind, you're probably picturing a diamond kite. A diamond kite is built on a frame made of bamboo skewers, straws, and butcher paper or wrapping paper. One benefit of this type of kite is it has a large surface area for you to decorate and personalize. One disadvantage is it does require a bit more moderate wind speeds to fly. The last type of kite we'll share with you is called a Rokaku kite. It is a traditional Japanese kite that is supposed to emulate a dragon with a long streamer as a tail. The materials for this kite is very similar to the diamond kite as they are both built on a frame of bamboo skewers and straws using wrapping paper or butcher paper. One of the advantages of, again, of this Rokaku kite, similar to the diamond kite, is it has a large surface area to decorate and personalize. But also like the diamond kite, it is one of the heavier kites that we show you and takes more moderate wind for it to fly. Let's explain to you how to fly the kite. You will need a large separate spool of string in order to fly your kite with. The way the kites are designed is you have a shorter string and you attach the large spool to the short string by hooking it on with a paper clip. When you want to go fly your kite, stand with your back to the wind and hold the spool in one hand and the kite in the other hand. The wind should be pushing on the front of your kite. With your back to the wind, slowly feed more string to the kite as it moves away from you and up in the air. If the wind is slow, you can also walk backwards to simulate more wind speed. However, you shouldn't need to run with your kite because most kites can fly with just a few miles per hour wind. As you feed more string to your kite, it should get caught in winds that are higher up by the tree line. These winds are stronger and more steady and you should be able to fly your kite with little issue. Please make sure you avoid any trees and power lines when flying your kite and also other students who are flying their kite as they will get tangled together. Now that you know how to make and fly a kite, go ahead and do it. Have fun!